ಇದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ ಇದ್ರ ಸರ್ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಅನ್ಯೂಟ್ ಚೇಸ್ಕೊಂಡ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಚೇಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಮಿತ್ರ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಚೇಸ್ಕೊಂಡ ಅಂಕಲ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕೂಡ ಆನ್ ಚೇಸ್ಕೊಂಡ ಅಂಕಲ್ Yes, Sunil. Hello. Yes, your son has come. Hello. Yes, sir. Am I heard? Yes, sir. Yeah, we can hear you, sir. Please go ahead. We can hear you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many are you in there? So far. Hello. ಸುನೀಲ್ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಗೋ ಹೆಡ್ I am very thankful to God for giving me the best opportunity to narrate the great history of our Chambers Memorial Downey Hall English Worship Service Church. I am very privileged to share this special occasion to the glorious occasion as we celebrate the seventh anniversary a unique happen is the one of the ancient churches in the country i believe and uh, two years back year 1970 we celebrate the fifth anniversary in a very grand manner under the chaplaincy of Reverend uh, K.B. J. Kumar. He is no more with us. He is with God, but I am sure he is overseeing our program we are continuing today thank this great church was founded by reverend samuel day he was the founder of the no sarshan and the founder was the sarshan At the same time, he had a desire to start an interesting search for a few people there who knew English. Even for those few people, 
Hari Hari of God Start Dia Kempat for We fix the day Wings Jiru Magaru and I Had a uh, And uh, uh, That the The third city Of uh, The church Service and both of us finalized that July 7th be the proper day to celebrate. Accordingly, we have fixed the date and uh, on the 7th of July we should not celebrate because uh, 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 we should not be able to do it because of his. Uh, Dear things, this English service had been catering to the spiritual needs of an auto casket, but to all the worshippers of a different denomination, that is, not only Baptist, Lutheran, ASI, Salvation Army, Roman Catholic, President Group, all, all come under the umbrella of uh, this uh, wonderful church. This is the specialty of uh, the Catholic. Nowhere in the country, perhaps, uh, such a church exists as far as I know. Where different denominations gather together under one roof and uh, worship. So that is the speciality of India. In order to see that different denominations of people will gather conveniently to worship, evening time means worship from 6 o'clock up to 8 or 8.30. So that in the morning, they would attend to their own churches and uh, gather for the English service at the evening and never be. So, like that, worship service was going on. Perhaps the first chaplain was uh, Reverend Samuel Day. Under his chaplaincy, the worship service was going on. And year by year, that on, and no permanent place to worship, no building, and people were feeling that then the worship service uh, would be a, a, a difficult uh, thing because uh, this uh, part of uh, uh, the ABM phone was far, far away from the town. At that time, it was considered to be the outskirts of Nellore. So they prayed and prayed for a convenient central place and also for the permanent place. They prayed for years and years and God answered their prayer. And about a convenient place. And uh, time, uh, Downey came, and Downey had come, and they were taking active part in the English service. Several missionaries who came over here, all of them used to take uh, active part in the English service. During Downey, wonderful things happened. He was uh, an engineer missionary and had to be a preacher. And he mentioned the need of a permanent building in the center of the town to his friend by name R. R. Campbell. He was a married man. Luckily, at that time, he was to get a, a big amount that was put in the uh, permanent 
But and then our chambers wrote to Downey that it would be spending that amount and it would be sufficient to raise a proper building. And uh, it just that the building be named the name of uh, his son who left this world uh, like previously. So Downey got this uh, beautiful old chapel the name of uh, Chambers Memorial Hall. That's how our building, the Downey building, and people who were worshipping the Ronsa Church under a patched head said, for over 37 years, now their hearts are filled with joy as they could worship now in the permanent building, beautifully constructed, and led to in the center of the town. Thus, things were going on well, and the number began to release from year to year, and uh, the administration of the Downhall English Service was always under the missionaries. Missionaries who were there at that particular point of time, they used to take care of the administration. Yes, because even from the beginning, no paid pastor was appointed. Yes, speakers were invited. Almost all the missionaries who visited Edward used to speak in the Downey Hall. So, missionaries were administering, and at the time, Ms. Bailey was appointed as the Educator Secretary. She was here for 44 decades. And throughout the four decades, Ms. Bailey was taking care of the administration of the English service. Dear friend, Ms. Bailey left the country for good in the year 1970. Mr. Emmanuel used to assist her when she was here, and Mr. Emmanuel succeeded as the chaplain of the town hall. And I know that Mr. Emmanuel, all of you know how disciplined he was, how meticulous he was in arranging the program. So, under uh, his uh, chaplaincy, uh, uh, the spiritual standards of uh, the Downey Hall grew so well. And what the first uh, number began to increase. So, after Victor uh, Manuel had done his best, given his best service to the English service, uh, after him, he worked as the honorary chaplain for over 14 years. And after that, uh, Reverend B.J. Kumar, who was working as an honorary chaplain time, and after the uh, who left the church, the ABJ Kumar succeeded and he worked at the for the uh, He gave his excellence and service. chaplain. He said to the chaplain, but used to be paid. And Reverend K. V. J. Kumar Garu appointed as the uh, chaplain. I asked him, Babu, how much is it? Okay, because now you are giving you a different He said, Call to the community is my and not. I don't want to. I tried 
ಅಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರಿವೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದು ನೀನು ಬರ್ತಂತ
one thing i would like to inform you the music western music the known music guides but never uh, uh, found one thing they start to passing even from the beginning kitlet this kitlet up to now one or other western Uh, phone directors were supplied to the downy horse. This is what happened. So our uh, music in the worship service is a special attract. So I would like to close this word. I fondly hope and pray that this unique celebration, even in this humble way, may fill us with much more dedication and commitment. and inspire each one of us to be a beacon of light and a reflection to the love of Jesus Christ so that others around us may be guided to Jesus Christ may we bear the abundant of fruition as we work together with Jesus lastly i read psalm 5 to us Oh God, to God we thank you, Lord. Call upon His name and make known His deeds among all people. It is big responsibility on the leaders, on the community members, and all the worshippers, young and old, that all of us use our talents. Whatever God has given us, we. much service uh, and that a god be glorified thank you very much god bless you thank, thank you very much sir thank you very much i thank uh, our dear bus sir vaith mitra gar for briefing the chambers english worship service history thank you so much sir it is very important to know the history and now it is the time for message i request our dear brother raven david dayasagat to share the word of god i thank god for the wonderful opportunity that uh, god has given to me in this special occasion to share what god has laid on my heart in this evening specially i want to thank our beloved associate chaplain reverend david lewiston garu and also beloved basa sri vaiti mitra garu all the english service committee for having given this opportunity time to time to come over here and to share the goodness of god in our lives especially in this uh, special sunday i want to wish you all happy 177th anniversary of uh, chambers hall english service downy english service god has been so faithful all these years that's now our beloved buster sir have shared a great history of uh, english service how god has led all this 177 years today we are here celebrating god's faithfulness all these years remembering great people who have contributed to many people who attended this english service all these 177 years as our sir is sharing he has shared about a uh, great people great missionaries about david day and many people who have come to this country 
and stood for the Lord, bearing all the problems and persecutions and sufferings. And they have contributed much to our people today, what we are, because of these people's contribution, their prayers. So we thank God for them. But also, once again, I wish you all happy anniversary in advance. In this moment, I want to take a few minutes to say a word of tribute to our beloved chaplain, Reverend Late K.B. J. Kumar Gar. I'm so sorry that I could not able to attend physically to his memorial meeting, but I was on June, but uh, I was in the interior village where I was solemn, solemnizing marriage. Therefore, I could not able to come on Zoom also. I stayed for some time, but uh, since uh, the network was very poor, I could not able to be there. But I want to say a few words about Reverend K.B. J. Kumar Gar. I knew him from my childhood. Whenever I used to go to school, I used to walk on that line where they were staying, that was in Rajagari Street in Molapeta. And uncle was a very unique character and unique personality in our town. And he has influenced my life in many ways. And he has encouraged me in the ministry. Especially whenever I request him to come and uh, help us in our worship service to share the word, he never used to say no, because they always say, Sarenaya, Vastanaya. That's the two words he always tells me. And he always joyful to come and minister in our ministries, wherever I invite. And also, I have seen a great discipline in his life. Reverend K.B. J. Kumar Garu is a man of discipline and dedication and determination. Whenever we see Reverend K.B. J. Kumar Garu, he, rep he represents discipline and uh, dedication and determination in any everything, in his conversation, in his blessing in his relationship with the church, with the believers, with the friends. Such a dignified way he has maintained his relationship each and every one. God has given me opportunity to travel with him along with the uncle and auntie to Mumbai when Reverend late Reverend C. Kamala Kargaru, when he was alive, he has taken us to Bombay for a special program. There, Uncle K.B. J. Kumar Garu has shared wonderful messages in Kurla Baptist Church in Mumbai, and we had a blessed time together traveling, Uncle and Auntie and myself and some other people along with Reverend C. Kamala Kargaru. My sister always tells about K.B. J. Kumar Garu. He's my very good teacher. He's my good professor. She was uncle's student in Dikadabulu College. And also I have associated with him many programs. Every year, uncle and Myself attends Dr. Bates' birthday celebrations. I, I used to chair the program. Uncle used to share the messages. 
And also we used to gather for the day of mission in a, 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 in a busy hospital chapel in that campus. Uncle was much honored by all these people. Everybody loves him. Such an honorable person, we feel the great absence in the English service today. I pray that God may console the family of uh, Reverend late Jay Kumar Garu, Auntie Raji Kumar, Auntie, and also two daughters and their families and Sunil, that remember the promise of God. God said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Lo, I am with you always. Lo, I am with you always. So I, I thank God and we celebrate his life. And uh, he was a great encouragement to many of us, especially Uncle Sri Vaiti Mitragar. He missed him a lot, missed him a lot because Uncle always used to tell me, Mitra Uncle, Aya, I really miss Babu. He feel every moment his absence in his life. I miss him. He never say no to me. Whatever I propose in the church, he will say yes all the time. Such a honorable person, such, such a respected person. He really respected me much. I miss him. Yes, we all miss Reverend K.B. J. Kumar Garu. No one can replace him, but God only can replace in his absence. So we thank God for his uh, life. I just want to briefly share a few verses which I read before us in this evening meditation. On this uh, special occasion of 177 years of celebration of uh, English service, the word of God is very powerfully encouraging us in this evening. One side, our chaplain have promoted to glory. And another side, you are in the happy occasion of celebrating 177 years of God's faithfulness in the life of Chambers English service, Dowdy English service. After the death of Moses, God had come to Joshua and said, Moses assist, Moses assistant saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore, arise, go over the over this Jordan you and all these people to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. We can find a God's plan towards his people. A great man of God, Moses, have died and people are in confusion. Who will lead us? Who is next? That was the question they had, but God already had a, a great plans for the people of Israelites. God already prepared Joshua to be su successor of Moses. God has reminded him that as I was with Moses, I will be with you. Today, the promise which God has given us today to all of us, to the family of Reverend C. K. B. J. Kumar Garu and also all the congregation, all the believers, that 
that God is encouraging us that as I was with Moses, I will be with you. Fear not. Fear not. What a great blessing that God has given us. What a great promise that God has given us. In the following verses, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong, be strong. And of good courage. For to these people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I showed to their fathers to give them. In this evening, we should always remember, we should always stand on the promises of God in order to go forward in our lives. Why the promises that God has given us? All the time God has led us and establishing us and making us too strong by giving his promises, by giving his promises. And also, Paul the Apostle in the book of Hebrews in chapter 13, he also reminding us the how we should be, how we should go forward. If you turn your Bibles to Hebrews chapter 13, verses 6 and 7, verses 5 and 6 and 7, there we can find Paul the Apostle is, is encouraging us to go forward, remembering the righteous who have served us, who has left a great legacy, and who has lived an exemplary life before us. Keeping that, we should follow, keeping them as a role model to our life. Here we can see that I will, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Remember those who rule over you, who have spoken the word of God to you. I want to underline this word. Remember, those who rule over you, who have spoken the word of God to you, whose faith follow, considering the outcome of their conduct. Considering. What a, a great encouragement. Considering the outcome of their conduct. We always remember to follow a person who have spoken the word to us and who has served us, who was faithful, following the Lord, keeping his good conduct, good conduct. Because Jesus said, I am yesterday, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is never changed. A God who never changed is always with us. He will lead us and guide us and guard us all our life. God has led all 177 years. Great missionaries have come. Yesterday we have celebrated India Christian Day. There was a great celebration in the whole country, India Christian Day. Remembering St. Thomas, who has come to India in 52 AD, 
and who have ministered in Malabar, Kerala, and also in Chennai, Mailapur area, in coastal belt. God has used him to proclaim the gospel to the people and to plant many churches. Right? The tradition of Thomas says that he has planted around seven churches in that area, in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. And now the Mathomites have taken over all the churches. They are ministering. But still, the ministry of Jesus Christ has continued to the missionaries. To the missionaries. The history of India, they have declared that the Christianity have come 200 years ago. But, it, but the history, the tradition of Thomas says that the Christianity have come 2000 years ago to India, even before it has come to US and also to British. We have received in first century itself, the God has blessed our country to, through his beloved disciple of Jesus Christ, Sir Thomas, who came to this world as a skill worker, as a builder to Punjab and from Punjab to South. And he was martyred in AD 72, July 3rd. And that day has declared a day, that Indian Christian day. From this year, we are celebrating that Indian Christian day that the Christianity have come to, from 2000 years ago. The ministry of Thomas and later on Bartholomew and many missionaries of Catholic missionaries, Francis Xavier and Methodist missionaries, American Baptist, Canadian Baptist missionaries, London, London Mission, and also the modern missionaries, German Lutherans, American Lutherans have come to India and gone to different parts of our country and they gave their lives for the sake of the gospel. For the sake of the gospel. Many were killed, martyred, but though they are martyred, but the ministry is still alive. The church father, Tertullian, early father said, the blood of the martyr is the seed of the church. The blood of the martyr is the seed of the church today. The church is existing because of the blood of the martyrs who have given their lives for the sake of the gospel. All the disciples of Jesus Christ have given their lives for the gospel's sake. They have gone to different parts of the world, taking the commandment of Jesus Christ his last words was became a, a first in their lives. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel and baptize them who have believed. Teach what all I have taught you. My dear friends, today we are celebrating the great people, missionaries, pastors, evangelists, teachers who have contributed missionary teachers, missionary doctors, missionary nurses who have given their lives. We are celebrating their goodness. Thank God for all the missionaries. 177 years of uh, English service, Downey Hall. The prayer switch the people prayed in that uh, service. The ministry which the missionaries have done in English service, Downey Hall, that has brought a great blessing to generations, generations. That we can see today the blessings of those 
missionaries or beloved ones who have served in a Baptist church in a Downey Hall English service. And uh, all the churches in India, all the mission agencies which are before us and also all medical colleges, Christian medical colleges, medical hospitals, educational institutions standing before us as a living witness, living witness. In closing, I just want to open Psalm chapter 116, 116. So therefore, we as the children of God celebrating all the goodness and faithfulness of God through his uh, servants, we should be able to continue to love the Lord for his goodness, for his goodness. Psalm is saying in 116 verse 1, love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications. Love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications. Dear friends, Today, as we're remembering great people, our forefathers, patriots, missionaries who have done a great service to our country, to our church, to our ministries. Let us thank the Lord. Let us love the Lord because he has heard our supplications. Many people, they have given their sacrificial life to the ministry of Downey Hall. I always love to come to English service because in my childhood, I always like to see four people in that, in that church. Before church, after church, I see in the corridor four people with nice dressing suit. That is Reverend late Victor Manuel Garu, Sri Biguva Swamdas Garu, and uh, Reverend KB Jekumar Garu, and our beloved Bassar, Sri Vaiti Mitra Garu. They are like a pillars standing. They give, they, give, they give us a very good appearance. I love to see them. The way they maintain their dressing, discipline. Such a great people we had and we have now. They, they have set a great example, inspiring us and encouraging us. As we going forward for the future, we should always remembering them. We should remember them all the time so that we will be encouraged and we will be inspired to go the legacy which they have left to us and follow their faith and remembering all the, the words which they have shared to us. And we have to continue loving God because you have heard their prayers and our prayers and have answered us. And the 116 Psalms, I'm just closing within a few minutes of time. Psalm is saying that here was 12 and 13 and 14. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my woes to the Lord, to the Lord now in the presence of his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his sense, of his sense. 
what shall I render to the Lord for his benefits towards me? We all benefited in many ways, many ways. We as the children of God that benefits will should pass on to the next generation. Therefore, we always grateful to God. Always grateful to God and we should be able to give thanks to the Lord in his presence. In his presence. And we should witness. We should witness all the time. We should testify what God has done. We heard a wonderful history of uh, Downey Hall by Uncle Vaiti Mitra Gar. Testifying how God has led all these years. Many people contributed many things in the ministry of English service. That has to be continued. How can we continue that the love which we have towards God should continue? So should extend in our life and also we should testify and also we should able to give thanks to the Lord. Something, oh, something says, I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my woes to the Lord. Now in the presence of his people, in the course of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful verses. The psalmist is uh, really from his bottom of his heart, praising God for hearing, loving God for answering all his uh, supplications and witnessing what God has done. Remembering all the benefits, all the benefits. 177 years. Oh my goodness, how many benefits we have gained through the ministries of God's children, God's children. And recently, our chaplain also comes under their life, under their life. He is also a blessed person, as the scripture says, precious in the sight of the Lord in the death of his saints. He comes under that line. All the people who have gone before are comes under the sense. They're all with the Lord, enjoying the presence of the Lord. And God are crowning them because of their faithfulness in the ministry which they have done. Today, what we are doing today, remembering all these things, are you able to thank the Lord? Are you able to love the Lord? And are you able to witness for the Lord? Are you able to give thanks to the Lord? Keeping, remembering all his promises which God has given to Joshua. The promises was which was passed on to Joshua. That has passed on to us today. God said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Joshua, lo, I am with you always. Be strong. Be brave. I am with you. Today, God is with us. We don't know how the future holds. We are hearing many things. Today, we are not able to physically meet in the churches. But still, God has given us a great opportunities to this technology that we could we should we could able to come together and to praise God. We should pray to the Lord that God may open the doors to come together physically, the church, and to bring glory and honor to God together, shouting unto the Lord a new song in his sanctuary. May the good Lord bless us through this word as we remembering all his sins, all the great missionaries, all their ministry, and all the words which they have taught us uh, of their faithfulness. Let us go forward to follow their footsteps so that we and our children may be a great blessing to us and to our society 
and to the church. Thank you so much. Again, I wish you all happy 177th anniversary and my deepest condolence to the family of Reverend K.B. J. Kumar Garu. Thank you all. May God bless you. Amen. I take this opportunity on behalf of our Barsar and all the committee members and thank our dear brother Reverend David Dayasagar for his inspirational message regarding this 177th anniversary. The Bible says it is a blessing to remember the righteous people. So for 177 years, there are different people from different parts of the world have come and served in this place and inspired many people to go with the Lord. So it is our responsibility at this time to carry out their legacy. So it is a very inspirational message and therefore I thank Reverend David Dayasar Sagar for sparing his time and coming forward to share the word of God this evening. May God bless him and use him more abundantly in the days to come. Let us all join together and sing hymn number 138, Abide With Me. Abide With Me, 138.
there are few announcements, please. Uh, next week, that is 11, 7, 2020, when the speaker will be Dr. Vaidaya Kargaru. So I request all the family members, please join on time and be blessed with the word of God. And those people who want to send their offerings, you can send directly to the uh, to our bazaar. Uh, on the screen, you can see the particulars. Otherwise, I will give the particular particulars. You can take uh, the particulars. Uh, our bazaar's name, Vaiti Mitra Garu, and bank account name, bank name, Bank of Baroda, account number seven five four six zero one zero 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 five double three four i will repeat once again the bank number account number please seven five four six zero one zero 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 five double three four then please wrote, write down the IFC code B-A-R-B-O-B-A-R-B-O-V-J-N-E-L-L-O. -E Let me repeat again. B-A-R-B-O-V-J-N-E-L-L-O. -E this is IFC code. So we have bank number, bank name, and our Barsa's name, Vaiti Mitra Garu. If you have any difficulty in remitting the offering, please contact our Barsa Vaiti Mitra Garu. If you have any difficulty, otherwise you can remit your uh, offerings online to this bank number. Thank you. Shall we close this worship service with the prayer and the benediction? Gracious heavenly loving Father, we thank you and praise you for this wonderful time you have given to us to join together and worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege you have given to us through the media to praise your name, to worship your name, to glorify your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the privilege of celebrating 177th anniversary of Chambers Memorial English Worship Service. Thank you, Lord, for all the services of the missionaries and all the chaplains who have done great work with regard to this evening's worship service, O oh, Master. Lord, give us the right understanding and wisdom to keep up their legacy in the days to come. Lord, thank you, Lord, for the, your servant, David Dayasagar, for his inspirational message. Bless him abundantly. Bless his ministry and his family and children. Lord, we also pray for our dear chaplains, family, O Master. Console them, comfort them with thy words, O Master. You are the God who can console them and comfort them, Master. Lord, bless that family and meet their needs, what they require at this time, O Master. Lord, we also pray for each and every member and each and every family member, O Master. At this time, as we are going back to our Bet so, Master, be with us and protect us from all the evil and keep us under your blessing hands and protect us from all the dangers and evil things, O Master. Once again, Lord, give us another opportunity to join like this and to praise your name, to glorify your name. Let this prayer be, blessing, be a blessing to each and every one of us. In Jesus' most precious name I pray. Amen. May the love of our Father and the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.